Hello and welcome to another games edition of Who Wants to Be in Air? Now, have you ever been stopped and asked how many questions you can answer in a day? It must be loads. How are you? What time do you call this? Is that lipstick on your collar? Well, answer 15 questions correctly and you can win one million pounds. And to help me do this, I'm not going to do it on my own because I'll be hosting the show as always. I've got the man who was here on the junior edition and I'm so glad he's back. Please welcome Joseph Califf. Hi everyone! Welcome back Joe. How'd you feel? Um, Nervous. Nervous. Don't worry Joe. Don't worry. Everyone gets nervous on the show. Right, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Right, so, player ones. <coughs> Are you playing alone or with you? Okay, you right, I'll your put own. your name in Joe. Because okay, it's your game, time. not mine. Mm-hmm. <coughs> So how does it feel like, Joe, um, being on the junior edition, then on this one? Uh, I feel this one might be a bit more of a challenge. Oh, yeah. The questions? Yeah, the questions well, do get a little bit tough, they do, Joe. But I'm, I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> ah, that's good. Well, <clears throat> what was I going to say to you? I can't remember now. Um, <laughs> would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> well, we would do after the show. <laughs> right. That's fine. Right. Do we need instructions? No, I think you Yeah, yeah, I do. No, no. You, don't. No, you, no, you don't, Jack. You know how the game works. You played on the junior edition. <laughs> right, ready? Okay, Joe. Best of luck. Right, first question right, here we go. Your is for uh, 100 pounds. Your free lifelines. Good luck. Have a look at this. Here it comes, Joe. For one hundred pounds. First question. Here it is. Uh, what are usually put um, in a vase? Shoes, flowers, knives, apples. Uh, it's definitely not apples. Shoes. Final answer. Or. Nice. All right, take your time. You still it's got all flowers. You've still got 50 Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, you think it's B? Final answer. Are you happy with that answer? Yep. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh. Well done. Nice and easy. You've got 100 pounds. So right answer. 100 Ooh. quid. <laughs> Have a look at this. It's worth 200 pounds. Right. Number two for 200. Uh, what is the name of the plant used in brewing beer? Jump. Skip. Hop. Leap. Um. All right, take your time. I do not know this lines. question. You've still got well, you got three lifelines, Joe. Um, fifty-fifty. Okay, don't worry, Joe. That's okay, what lifelines are for. Use your lifeline computer. Take away two wrong answers, please, leaving the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Uh, is it skip a or and B, hop? B and C are left. You're not sure, Joe. You could still use your two other lifelines. Skip. Are you sure? If you're not sure, Joe, you can use another lifeline. Uh, I don't want you to go empty-handed. It's only the start of the game. Uh, the name of the plant used in Broom Bear was it Skip or was it Hop? Uh, phone a friend. You want a phone a friend? All right. That way. Okay, that way. That's what lifelines are for, Joe. We always say that only easy if you know the answer, because when people come into the hot seat, they know a few questions. But if they don't know these, then they just use lifelines. But don't worry, Joe. Everyone does it. Well, now there are four possible answers, but Karen's gone for C. What's your choice? Well, it says C hop. What do you want to do? Hop. Final answer. Final answer. <gasps> It's right, you've got 200 pounds. Oh, you've got 200. <laughs> You're doing well. You're just 13. Right, for 300 quid. Million. No pressure. 300 pounds. Right. Which uh, confection consists of coloured spun sugar held on a stick? Uh, it, Ross. Take your time, you can. Oh, sir. You're saying D. No point in me reading the answer, is there? You no. happy to go orange? Well done, you've got... It's a candy floss, you got two... You're, sorry, two? 300 pounds. 
Right, number four. It's for five hundred pounds. You're doing fine. We still got our Zealand, but here it is for five hundred. Here it is. Uh, in which country is Alicante? Italy, Portugal, Greece, Spain? Take your time. You can still ask the audience if you need to. Not Portugal. Uh, I think Spain. You sure? Mm -hmm. Do you want to make that your final answer? Are you happy with that? Yep. Because I remember a friend saying uh, ages ago. Correct. You've got. It is Spain. You got well five hundred quid. Well done, Joe. Hey. Whoop. Right. If you want One more to, to go, Joe, and you won a thousand pounds. You still got RC on it, yeah? Cost you a, cost you a couple of life lessons the first round, but let's hope we can get you to a thousand pounds. Here it is. Uh, which word means a collection of wild animals kept in captivity? <laughs> Menagerie, Kedgerie, Boulangerie, Lingerie. Just be aware, this is the last Sounds a bit quite weird to say, but. <laughs> what do you think, Joe? Take as long as you um, I don't even know. Uh, ask the audience. You want to uh, ask the audience? Right. Right, let's see what um, the audience say. Just remember, you don't have to take their advice. 67% say A, 19% for D, 12% for C, and 2% for B. So it's quite high, the 67%. Do you want to go with the audience? Yep. I will. And do you want to make that answer? Final answer? Are you yep. absolutely sure? Right. It's gone orange. Well done. You just guaranteed Please. yourself. And you just won a thousand pounds. Well done, Joe. Yeah. I'm fine on this real. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit couple of a couple of questions made you cost a lot of lifelines, didn't it, Joe? But mm. we got there in the end, but we got there. <laughs> But that way, Joe, we always say they're only easy if you know the answer. But people who are watching this on YouTube will be screaming at the That's answers. A pounds in the bag guaranteed. But let's try and double that with the next question. You might as well play this. Right. You've got nothing to lose. You're guaranteed. <clears> thousand pounds. pounds. This one is Turn away from a million. Pounds. Number six for two thousand pounds. Here it mm -hmm. comes. Here it is for two thousand pounds. Uh, according to the title of. A novel by J.D. Salinger. Where was the catcher? In the rice, in the wheat, in the corn, in the rye. Uh, no idea. Uh, wouldn't be in the rye, I don't think. Uh, in the rice, no. In the rye? In the rye? In the rye? Yep. Yeah. You sure, Joe? Yep. Yeah. Is it just a guess or...? Just a lucky guess, yep. Alright. If you're not sure, Joe, then... Well, you might as well pay mm -hmm. anyway because you've got nothing to lose. So, we want to lock in. I'm um, in the right. Mm-hmm. Final answer? Final answer. You don't have to play this if you don't want to. Is that it's gone your orange. final answer? You had a thousand pounds guaranteed. You've now got two thousand pounds. you got two thousand pounds. Yay! Hey. Woohoo! Woo. These are tricky questions. Yeah, that way, Joe. That way. Mm -hmm. Just remember, you don't have to play the question. You can walk away. You're doing brilliantly. But we're going good You've so far. Six correct there. answers. But take a look at this next question. We've got another about the nine four, questions man. to go before we go for the million. Here we go. For four thousand pounds. <laughs> okay. Which fruit is used to make e pudding? Strawberries, plums. Apricots, apples. Uh, I really don't know this one. Um, and you got no life plants, unfortunately, Joe. Uh, you don't have to play the question, you know, Joe. If you don't know the answer, you can walk away with two thousand pounds. Or if you want to, you can be brave enough to risk one thousand for two thousand. To go for four thousand. Uh, but which fruit is used to make Eve pudding? Is it strawberries, plums, apricots? I don't think plums or apples. I don't think. 
from strawberries. I'm going for D. Apples. You sure? D. Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yep. Okay. Are you happy with that? You sure you want me to lock it in? Because once it goes orange, mm -hmm. that's it. Right, lock it in. It's the right answer. You've got. 4, it's the right answer. Well, Four thousand pounds. Woohoo! Woo! It's starting to sink in these questions now, but we're getting there. Right, number eight will be for eight thousand pounds. You still have. Well, I was going to say you still had lifelines, mm -hmm. but no, you haven't. The next question takes you past the right, number eight for, for eight thousand pounds. For one million pounds. Good luck. Here it comes. If you give me a wrong answer, pounds. you lose three thousand. Right. Also, apologies um, for um, the bot, the, the popping up bit on the top row, right? because our PlayStation Network is still signed in. Mm. But don't worry, I'll cover that up. I'll blow it out. So, right here we go for eight thousand uh, pounds. What type of insect is a hair streak? Beetle, butterfly, grasshopper, wasp. Uh. Not a butterfly. Uh, um, so this question's for eight thousand. You don't have to play this. Yeah. Just be aware. Uh, so as long as you need to, you don't have to play it. What type of insect is a hair streak? Is a hair streak a beetle, a butterfly, a grasshopper, or a wasp? One of those is worth eight thousand pounds. Three of them will cost you three thousand of the four thousand pounds you've got at this moment. I don't think it would be a wasp. Right. I'll go for B. A butterfly? Yeah, a butterfly. Why? Yes. Why do you think it's a butterfly then? Just a random guess. Have you never heard of a hair streak? Or hair streak rather? No. So we're going to go for it? Mm hmm. Final answer. Yes, final answer. Are you sure you want to play this? If this is the wrong answer, you've lost 3,000. But if it's the right answer, you've won 8,000 pounds. You can find out what the right answer is in a couple of minutes on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Don't go away.